Hello and welcome, this is Scott at Mechsoft. For the next few minutes, let's take a look at the profile milling capability found in Visual Mill. In this demo part, I'm going to create two simple profiling operations, one to clean up the diameter of this boss, and the second one to profile the walls of this main pocket. So to get started, I'll bring in the Machining Operations browser. You'll notice that I have already created some preliminary operations to face off the part and rough out the pockets. Before creating these new profiling operations, I want to predefine the geometry regions that will be used in the operations. To do this, I'll bring up the Objects browser and select the option to create regions. For the first region around the boss, I will select the edge of the boss at the top of the wall and accept that. The region will be entered into the list. For the next region around the pocket, I will select an edge at the top of the pocket wall and use the SolidWorks function to chain select all the remaining top edges. I will accept that and the second region will be entered into the regions list. Now, to create the first profiling operation, I'll make sure I'm at the Program tab, Machining Operations, and take the Two Axis option, and then choose Profiling. In this first dialog, I will select a geometry region to be profiled, and it will be that first predefined region at the top of the boss. Next, I'll select the tool. I want the 26 millimeter diameter end mill. Feeds and speeds, make sure I load those from the tool. The clearance plane, I like this option where the system checks the maximum or highest stock position and then I can add six millimeters to that for all clearance moves. Let's go to the cut parameters. I want zero stock to clean up the walls completely. I want to make sure the tool is climb cutting. And on the cut side, since this is a closed shape, I'll choose this option and indicate that I want the cutter to start on the outside. For cut levels, I've selected the geometry at the top of the boss. Make sure that this option is set correctly. The total depth of cut down the wall is 12.7 millimeters, and I'd like the final level to be 2 millimeters to just clean up the base of the boss. That reduces the rough depth to 10.7 millimeters. Let's take a look at the entry and exit. At the beginning of the path, I'd like the cutter to drop down in air and move sideways to engage the material. That's a 2D entry. First, a linear move, then roll into the material at a radius of 8 millimeters. At the end of the path, do the same thing. Remain at the level of the cut, a 2D exit, roll off the material at a radius of 6 millimeters, then a short linear move to give the cutter more distance before retracting to the clearance plane. I'll generate the path and everything looks good except that I would prefer to have the entry and exit off the part over here at the 180 position. To correct that I'll go to the objects browser and change the start point of that predefined region. I'll select the region start point option and then pick the 180 position on that region. That pick position will determine the new start point for that region. Notice that there is now a red flag on the profiling operation, which tells you that the operation input parameters have changed and that the operation needs to be regenerated. So I will regenerate the operation, and now you can see that the entry and exit are off the part as I wanted. Next, I'd like to profile the walls of this main pocket doing two passes, a semi-finish and a finish pass at full depth. But first, I'm going to modify the start point to where I want it. I'll use the option to change the start point as I did before and pick the start point near the center of one of the walls. I'll create a new profiling operation and select the predefined containment region at the top of the pocket to be machined. Now, since the tool, the feeds and speeds, and the clearance plane will all remain the same, I'll go to Cut Parameters. Here I want the side stock to be zero on the final pass. Climb Cut, and since this is a closed region, 
I'll set the start point to be on the inside. To achieve two passes, I'll set the total cut width to be one millimeter and set each step to be one millimeter. Cut levels. I've selected the cut region to be at the top of the material to be removed. I don't know the full depth of cut, so I will use the analysis function to measure the height of the wall. I'll select the flat surface at the top of the wall and then select the flat floor at the bottom of the pocket. Now I will generate the path. Now I will simulate both paths and this will be the end of the demonstration. I hope this has been informative for you as you use the profile milling capabilities in Visual Mill by Mexoft. Thank you.